Whoa! Hi guys! <laughs> I am in windy Lethbridge, Alberta and hopefully... Hopefully you can hear me okay. <laughs> but I wanted to talk today about how... I've had it pointed out to me that I say it's all good a lot. And, uh, and here's why. Because whatever's going on in my life, I try really hard to see the silver lining. I try really hard and it is a choice. Happiness is a choice. That's a, not a cliche for no reason. <laughs> so like right now, <coughs> right now I have a bit of a cold, but it's all good because I needed to slow down and rest anyways. And this gave me time to work on my website and on some other computer work that I needed to catch up on. Um, you get stuck in traffic. It's all good because it gives you a chance to take in the scenery and maybe calm yourself if you're going into a crazy meeting or something. If someone withdraws their friendship or their love from you, it's all good because it gives you a chance to show up for yourself in a more complete way and give that friendship and that love to yourself. If someone close to you passes and you're devastated, it's a, it shows you the depth of love that you're capable of feeling. And that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> if it's windy as hell <laughs> and your hair keeps getting messed up, it's okay because it's, a, it's an opportunity to release control over what's happening in your life. <laughs> so, it, whatever is going on in your life, it's your choice how you want to perceive it. Good and bad are subjective. And... All we really have is right now anyways. Right here, right now, this minute, this second. So how do you want to feel? Do you want to stay caught up in the same story that makes you feel less than or makes you hold a grudge and makes you angry and resentful? Do you want to stay in that space? Or do you want to shift it and feel something a little bit lighter? Even if it's just that much lighter that much better and gets you closer <laughs> to what you want to be happening in your life. That much closer. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I say, I say it's all good a lot because I don't have a ton of control anyway. I have control over how I perceive things and how I feel in myself. And I wanna feel good, I wanna feel confident, I wanna feel secure and <laughs> appreciated and happy. And that's all on me. Our feelings are our own responsibility. <clears throat> and the more we try to project or blame or deflect things, the more we're missing out on opportunities to get, a, get to know ourselves better. So try this out right now. Draw an imaginary circle around yourself. Just try to kind of just separate yourself from whatever is happening in your life right now. And sit with what you're feeling and realize that you're the one getting triggered but you're also the one pulling the trigger. It's kind of a tough one to swallow sometimes, but you are the one getting triggered, having the emotional response, and you're also the one pulling the trigger. And the part of you that's pulling the trigger <clears throat> is your emotional programming that's probably been around since you were a little kid. The part of you that you don't want to look at. The part of you that needs the most attention. That's, those are the part of us that get triggered. Those are the parts of us that get triggered. 
and and why the emotional response is so explosive sometimes is because if you think about how five-year-old acts when they have their little tantrums and stuff that that's what's happening inside that's the same type of emotional turmoil that can happen when you get triggered and it's not easy and your rational mind sometimes can't make sense of it because it hurts so bad or feels so crazy but it's another opportunity to get to know yourself better. It's another opportunity to show up and love yourself the way that you need to be loved. Because only you can do that for yourself. We look outside ourselves for validation and, and for love and for whatever else we want to feel and we're not going to find it. We're not going to find it outside. You find that inside. And once you're able to love yourself and give yourself that validation or whatever kind of attention that little part of you needs, then it comes to you from outside because you've given it to yourself first. It's beautiful how life works that way. <laughs> so do to yourself as you'd have the universe do unto you. Because when you start showing yourself that respect and that love, then it starts coming in from the outside as well to magnify that. <sighs> okay, I guess that's all I had on that one today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you real soon.